Hi there, it's Marta from Clinical Nutrition. Today I'd like to talk to you about arguably the most critical process which underpins our health and well-being. This process is called methylation. Methylation is important for many body functions, including mood regulation, energy production, growth and repair, detoxification of chemicals and hormones, and immune function. It is dependent on many nutrients, but in particular folate in its most active state as methylfolate, as well as vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin. Some of us might not be very efficient at methylating due to genetic, physiological or environmental factors, and this can lead to a range of symptoms or even disease. So how do you know if you need to support methylation? Well, just as its functions, the symptoms of disruptive methylation are diverse. However, here are the most common ones. Nervous system problems, for example, anxiety, depression, OCD or psychiatric disorders. Problems with female hormones, such as PMS, irregular cycles, or even fibroids and endometriosis. Also multiple allergies or autoimmune conditions. Infertility in both men and women or multiple miscarriages, and also memory and cognitive problems. So what can you do to support methylation? Eat at least one portion of green leafy and cruciferous vegetables every day for folate, magnesium and other micronutrients. Provide enough B12 from good quality organic, grass-fed meat and wild fish, dairy or eggs, or supplement with vitamin B12 if you're vegan. Avoid excess sugar and refined carbohydrates, as well as any processed food. Also clean up the environment around you to reduce the burden of methylation. So choose organic food as much as possible and buy natural skincare products. Also avoid smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. If you already display any symptoms, are trying to conceive, already pregnant, or maybe you know you have a genetic mutation, your daily requirements might be higher and a supplement would be useful. A good insurance is a comprehensive multivitamin providing methyl folate and methyl B12. But if you don't like capsules, have problems with swallowing or absorption, or simply prefer to take sim single nutrients, a liquid supplement that provides any of the nutrients mentioned might be best for you. I hope you found this video helpful and learned a little bit more about methylation. But if you have any questions, please get in touch with us.